بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone Welcome in a new English class Today we are going to study Mega Goal 6 for th third secondary grade uh, Listen and discuss Please can I ask you to open your book page 68 and 69 Okay Okay let's get started Today the objective or the objectives of the lesson are discuss word language and talk about the English. So today we are going to focus on achieving two goals. The first goal is to discuss world language. So there are many languages in the world. We are going to identify some of them and we will focus more on English. Okay guys? Okay, let's start. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, I want you to look at this picture and answer these two questions. Okay, guys, look at the picture. You see this boy? Do you speak English? He asked us, and we ask you, what language do you speak? What language do you speak? What language do you speak? Okay. As I told you, there are many languages in the world. Your answer should one of these languages. Okay. Your answer could be Arabic. This is our mother language. Or English. It is the most important language in the world. Or Chinese. Or Spanish. Okay. All these are languages. The word language. Okay. Two. Question number two, do you think English is a difficult language? What do you think? I know for you as a student, some of you think English is a difficult language. So why? Explain. Okay? Okay, we have an answer. Say guys, I know all of you have this answer. Yes, I think it is. Why? It's a grammar, a structure. I mean by grammar structure, verb, noun, prepositions, adjective, adverb, how to start the sentence, how to end the sentence. It's spelling, I mean dictation, or meanings and rules are difficult and confusing. So all these scales are confusing. I mean by scales, grammar, writing, meaning, rules are difficult and confusing for you okay okay guys from this slice we understand that there are many languages in the world we have we focus on four languages and we learn more about uh, english and some of you consider language is a difficult language okay now let us to move to the next slice uh, okay guys we have a question why you study english why you study English? This question is important before, uh, because uh, most of students can't manage learning English because they can't answer this question. Okay? So why do you study English? Think about for a minute, a couple of minutes, and answer this question. Okay? I'm waiting. Mm. Okay. Okay, look, look at the first reason. The first reason is English is a global language. A global language, it means the world language. Okay, global means, as you see the earth, global means around the world. So, global language, English. Second, studying, uh, studying English can help you get, uh, what do you think, to get what? This answer I wanted to answer, I, I, I didn't write this answer here because I want you to, to fill in the gaps. Okay, to get job, to get job, excellent. So studying English can help you get job, okay? So now we have two reasons. The third reason, English can help you meet new people, okay? New people, English can help you meet new people means to communicate with people from different countries around the world. Fourth, English is the language of the internet. English is the language of the internet. 
okay? So now we have four reasons for why do you study English. Okay, this is the importance of English, okay? More, more one. English is one of the most important language for business. Business is related to jobs, okay? Now, reading. We have reading. Please, can I ask you to open your book on page 68? 68, mega goal. Please, guys, open your book and follow me. Okay. Uh, fascinating language facts. So we are going to, f we are going to fo focus on some uh, some facts which uh, some facts which are related to language, okay? Because they are uh, interesting, okay? As you say, we have uh, four uh, four cards or four squares, okay? The first one. The most widely spoken language in the world is Mandarin. Okay. What about widely? Widely means mostly. Widely mean mostly. Okay. Mandarin is a part of Chinese language. A part of Chinese language. Okay. There are 885 million people in China who speak it. And don't forget, guys, we have pronoun it refers to what? Mandarin. Okay? This is the strategy of understanding reading. Okay? English is the second most widely spoken language. English is the most, the most second most widely spoken language. Okay? The second. I know for some, it is surprised to, surprising to, to uh, understand or to know that Mandarin is more uh, is spoken uh, mostly than English, but why? Think about this question. Why? Because China these days or nowadays uh, has more than one billion and a half population this time. Okay, so of course will be rather uh, be uh, uh, more than spoken more than English. Okay. Okay, the second, the second uh, point. There are more people in China who speak English than there are in the United States. Okay, this fact is related to the, the first fact. Okay, go, you know go. Go is the verb in English, go. Okay, go, present, past, went, past participle, gone. Okay, so go is the shortest complete sentence in the English language. Mm. Say they uh, or uh, yes they they are considered considered go as a sentence in English. Okay. Next Arabic. This is our mother language. Arabic, our mother language. Okay, our first language. Arabic has influence many language. Influence means af affected or affected many languages. How? Many words in English have been borrowed directly or indirectly from Arabic. It means extracted. Okay? It means other language extracted some, some words from Arabic. Okay? How? Such words include, such here, guys, an example, for example. Okay? Such word or this word. Okay, guys? Because such, when you see such as means, for example. Okay, but such words mean this word. Okay, guys, include Admiral, Adobe, Alcomi, Algebra, Alkali, Amber, Ambir, Arsenal, Candy, Carrot, Coffee, Cotton, Hazard, Jar, Lemon, Mattress, Sofa, and a lot more. All these vocabularies extracted or borrowed from English. Okay, punctuations didn't exist in English. You know what do you mean by punctuations? Punctuation means question mark, follow stop, colon, semicolon, okay? Existed English until the 15th century. Okay, guys, now we have a question, exercise. Now we are going to cover what we have uh, read so far. Okay, true, uh, answer true and false question and give me the reason or correct the false answer. Okay, what do you think, number one? 
English is the most widely spoken language in the world. Mm. Very easy. What do you think? Uh, yes, it is false. Because English, English isn't the first language in the world. What is the first language in the world? As I told you before, it is Mandarin. It is Mandarin, okay? Second question. More people speak English in China than in the United States. More people speak English in, the chi in, China, in China than in the United States. Uh, what, what do you think? Yes, true. It is true. Okay, third. The shortest complete sentence in the English language is we go. Do you agree with this? We go? Mm? No, not we go. It's go. So the answer is false. And the correct answer is go. Okay. Four. A few words in English have been borrowed from Arabic. Of course, we agree with this. It is, or what? What do you think? More words? No, yes, you are right. It is false because it's more words. Okay. The last one, Bantuish was introduced to English in the 15th century. The answer is, the answer is true. Okay. Type exercise, page 69. Can I ask you to open your book on page 69? Match each, each word with its synonym. Synonym means the same meaning. We have acquire. Acquire means to obtain, to get. And also we have consecutive, means continuous. Currently means presently or present. Uh, extract means something that is uh, not uh, existed so far or did. Okay, uh, means, means big, huge, uh, routinely, means regularly, uh, solitary, means singular, singular, okay, or alone, okay. Let us to check the first answer, choir, yes, with C, learn, consecutive, with, continue, currently, with, F, presently, extract, with E, did, did, and means, with, uh, Gigantic and solitary with single. Okay, and we have this. Uh, these are the translation of these words, as you say in Arabic. We have يكتسب على التوالي حاليا ينقرض ضخم بشكل كبير روتين بشكل روتيني منعزل and so on. Okay, okay. Now let us do to finish our class. To finish our class summary. Today we answer the question. We answered the, the question, why do we study English? And we mentioned some facts. We mentioned some facts about the language. We, sp uh, we spoke about Mandarin, Chinese, Arabic, English. And also we covered and we ad identified some uh, meaning of or some of our vocabulary, uh, like acquire, consecutive, currently, extract, and means routinely, solitary. OK, guys? Uh, okay, hopefully you enjoy my class. Thank you so much. See you next time.